Hey guys, um, today I'm going to do a quick walkthrough video of the ambient pads that I've just put up on Multitracks. Um, I'd suggest checking out the Nigel Hendriff ambient guitars um, video as well, just because the way I've designed it is really similar to that product and I'm just going to skim over some of the similarities in this video just to save some time. Um, but basically the difference between the two products is Nigel's one was obviously done with an electric guitar um, to create the ambiences. Um, this one I've created three separate kind of really unique um, ambient shimmers using two different keyboards and two different shimmer reverb pedals. Um, as you can see there's a main stage version, there's an M4A for those that want a smaller version to put on um, iPods, iPads, Androids, anything with um, limited space and then we've got the full quality WAV files which are about 10 gigs, this is about two and a half gigs. Um, so I'm just quickly going to pull up one of these. Um, let's say you want to play in the key of G um, and you want to create an ambient shimmer um, that'll work over any chords that you're playing. Um, this is just one way you can use these. I'm just going to bring down the volume so it's not too intrusive and I'm just going to play a bunch of different chords in the key of G and show you how this works. Sorry, that was a rough fade, but you get the general idea. It fades in naturally, and after um, almost eight minutes, it'll fade out as well. Um, as you could hear, I'm just playing a lot of different chords in the key of G, and it just works. Um, you can use these a bunch of different ways. You can use them as ambient transitions for songs. It especially works well if you're using tracks and you want something to cover the stopping of one track to the starting of the other one, where there's a bit of silence. Um, we've used these uh, type of ambiences on a lot of Hillsong albums, uh, more recent Hillsong albums actually, Hillsong United and Hillsong Worship albums, so I wanted to put them in a format that anyone could use. Okay, um, if you want to hear more of those audio examples and hear the different ambiences, go to Multitracks and check out the individual um, audio demos there. I'm just going to get on to um, the main stage version. I'm just going to go open with and open it with main stage 3. Um, I'll close this one. Don't save. Okay, just give it a sec to load. There we go. Um, these first two ones are pretty much identical to the way that I set out the Nigel Hendroff ambient guitars. Um, so you've got all 12 keys here. You've got your stop button. You've got your EQ, low pass filter, high pass filter, um, mid-range cut. You've got shimmer. It's a different shimmer reverb that I designed for this pack because I thought it sounded better than the one um, that I was using for the Nigel Hendroff ambient guitars. Um, you've got your master out and then you've got your volume for just the shimmers. So if you're adding other sounds in, you can just um, control the volume of the shimmers and not affect whatever pianos, pads, leads, whatever else you're putting into this template. Um, then along here you've got individual volume controls for all the different ambient pads. Um, and I'll just quickly show you um, how it works. It works better in performance mode. So I can select, let's say D, if I'm playing in the key of D. Um, and I can fade that in naturally if I want to fade it out naturally just by using the slider. Um, well, I can actually start it. Um, let's say I finished an A, now I want to go to C. So I can really use it um, creatively like that, have it running in the background and then when I get to the song it's already triggered and I just move up that volume slider. Um, all of these sliders, um, you can map them to your own MIDI controller, you don't have to do it with a mouse like I'm doing here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll show you um, more of the stuff that's different from this one um, to Nigel Hendroff's ambient guitars version. So. I realize that not everyone wants to completely change up their main stage template so they don't want to have to have all these buttons and sliders and everything. They've got their own custom setup. 
So what I've done, instead of um, just offering you those two versions, I created a whole lot of key switchable versions. And you can just add these into your um, current main stage template, or you can pull them into Logic X if you really want to do that. Um, and basically, it's, it's as the name says, um, key switchable versions. So you've got all of these um, split up into the different pads. Um, and then at the bottom, I've got all the pad ones, all the pad twos, and all the pad threes all together in a three octave um, kind of playable shimmer pad type um, patch or patches there. Um, I'll just show you with this one. Um, I really like this high pad three. Um, here's another really cool little trick that you might not know about. So if I go to copy and then I go to edit paste alias. Now what that basically does is it pastes an alias um, of the patch that I copied. So what it's doing is it's only using um, half the amount of resource. So it's not taking the same patch and duplicating it. It's actually pulling the sound from the previous patch that I um, pasted, which is brilliant because it means you can pull one of these into your main stage template and duplicate it 30 times and it's only gonna use a resource of one. Um, so you could basically choose whatever ambience you like um, and put it on every single patch and it's not gonna use up 30 odd patches of resource to do that. So that's a really cool little trick. Um, so I've by default mapped them to um, C4, um, which is kind of above middle C. Um, that's where I like to have them triggering the shimmer pads, but you can change that. Let's say you want um, your bass note to trigger the shimmer pad or an even higher note. Um, all you do is open this up, select them, and move them to whatever octave you want to use. Um, so I've just put them there because that's how I like to use them, but you may um, have a different preference. So that's just a little trick on how to change that. Then you close it, then you save it as you want it to be saved, but I'm just gonna go don't save. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another instrument in. I'm gonna choose uh, one of my favorite pads from Omnisphere, it's the Oceans pad. Um, you'll see me use this on other videos. So now that's loaded in, um, I can use that. So let's just mute the pad for now and just play the shimmer. So I can add in a bit of this shimmer. I can EQ it a little bit. You can do whatever you want. Um, but I'll just show you this. So you can hear it doing its thing. Now what is really cool is when I add a pad into that. So I'm just going to move the volume up a little bit, um, or I could have moved the, moved the pad volume down if I wanted to. Um, and I'm going to start playing just the pad, and then I'm going to add the shimmer um, in later, so you can hear the difference between with and without. I'm going to add the shimmer in. Just going to mute it so you can hear what it sounds like without. Um, so yeah, it, it really frees um, you up to do both now. Um, what we'd usually do at um, Hillsong Churches would have one person doing the shimmer type reverb pad um, using like a Moog and a shimmer reverb pedal. Um, the other person would do pads, but this way you can kind of do both yourself and leave uh, the other keyboard player free to do something else or if you're the only keyboard player um, you can just do it all yourself um, and that will work with all of these different ones um, and as you could hear I was changing the note of the shimmer too so you can play it in any key and just make sure the top note um, is the note that you want the shimmer to be triggered on um, so that's a really cool kind of playable version um,
and I've also done these as well. Um, these are, like I said before, over all three octaves. So I could do the exact same thing. I could add a pad in or a piano or whatever I wanted. Um, I like this pad, so why don't I just chuck this in again. Okay, let's go use the channels, oceans. Um, and now what I've got is a playable ambience. So I'm just going to mute the pad for now and just play it by itself. And then I'm going to add the pad in later. Let's EQ it a bit to make room for the pad. So there's a few different ways you can use that. I was just kind of bringing it in and out with the mod wheel. Um, these last three versions, I've actually mapped the mod wheel to um, adjust the cutoff frequency so you can easily pull it up and down and make it really uh, kind of dynamic that way. Um, all of these are up on multi-tracks, so I won't spend too long going through every um, possible combination, that kind of thing. Um, but you can see kind of how that can work um, in a live setting. Um, even if you don't want to have um, these top versions with all these buttons, or maybe you want a, a different type. Maybe I've got the Nigel Hendroff ambient guitars in there and you want to layer those with these. Um, that's a really easy way that you can uh, do that. Um, now at the bottom, I decided to put a whole lot of um, extra bonus main stage patches in there. Um, so I've got um, the pad sound that I use for with everything. Um, I've got the lead sound that I use for break free and uh, my Future Decided from the All of the Above um, album, the Hillsong United album, and then a bunch of these other pads which I've used live um, a lot, in mainly the earlier days. So I just wanted to give you those um, pretty much in this template for free um, if anyone wanted those. All the demos are up on multi-tracks for those as well. But that's the exact pad I use for with everything. That's the exact same lead sound um, that I use for those other two songs as well. Um, yeah, so that's the walkthrough video. Um, like I've said, um, go to Multitracks, check out all the different audio demos. Um, check out the Nigel Hendriff ambient guitars if you want more detailed kind of walkthrough of how um, everything works um, with this one and um, his one as well. So cool. Thanks for watching.